Hi Scorpio, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Let's get some messages for you today. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath. You ready? All right, Scorpio, let's just jump in, get some cards here. Two of Swords. The moon, the tower, knight of swords, seven of wands. Ugh, Scorpio, what are you going through here? Um, looks like you have to make a decision. You don't want to make this decision because uh, you don't, you're confused. You don't know what decision to make. You don't know... I don't think you know exactly what you want here. Um, you're trying to decide, but you know what? You're going to procrastinate too long. And the universe is going to say, hey, you didn't decide, so we're going to decide for you. And they're going to bring you a tower moment. Now, a tower moment is when something crumbles, something falls apart. It could be a big argument, blow up. Or, uh, I don't know, it's just something is definitely, um, you know, the universe will clear the way to make room for the new, right? They got to clear out the old. So, whatever this is, whatever this decision's about, they're like saying, you better make it or this tower moment's going to happen and we're going to make it for you. Because something is not for your best interest anymore. You need to move on because you need to learn and grow or you need to have a new experience or something, uh, you know, on longer soul's journey here, there's, it's time to level up. So they're going to bring you this tower moment and this tower moment is not going to be fun. It's just not, they're not fun, but they are for our highest good. They do happen for a reason and, um, they are welcome in the end. You know, when you go back and you look back at why things happened like you could say I'm glad that happened or I understand why that happened so it is it is for your highest good but it looks like you're gonna have one here or you're in the midst of one here because it's right here in the smack middle of your read so either while you're going through this or like you're going to be determined to overcome your obstacles here with this knight. You're going to be like, I want victory. I want to come out of this um, ahead. Like I, I want to win. So you're bound and determined here. To looks like to defend yourself. Seven of Wands. Like you really got to. Like you're just, you're thinking somebody's trying to knock you down here, and you're like, nope. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to stand up for myself and what I believe in and what I want so I don't know I don't know Scorpio it's interesting here though it kind of feels like it might be love related believe it or not I mean there's no cups here but it it kind of feels like it could be love related where um, maybe you want to take, make a deeper commitment to somebody and somebody else is like, mm, no, I don't want you to do that. And you're like, well, but this is what I want. And so you're standing your ground and you're determined to overcome the obstacles. I don't know. It's interesting though. All right. So let's get some more cards. Oh, this situation's really got me like thinking. Hmm. All right, but then you got the nine of cups. There's your cups, right? Um, the universe, which is the world. The lovers. Oh, I told you it was a love situation. I knew it. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't. But oh, it kind of felt that way. <laughs> All right. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that 
there's somebody that you want in your life. There's a soulmate that you just want. And I don't know if people, if somebody's against it or if you have to break up with somebody in order to get this person. I, I don't know what it is, but there's got, definitely going to be a tower moment and you're going to have to feel like you have to stand your ground, stick up for yourself. You know what you want. Um, the good news is, is this is a new cycle for you. So I really do feel like this is going to work out for you. If there is somebody new coming into your life, or if you have somebody new now, like, um, if somebody, you know, whoever this, I don't know, forces that might be fighting against this for you, um, I, I think this is going to work out for you. This new, this new love here, this new, it doesn't even have to be new love. It just, this, this soulmate, I feel like things are going to work out with this soulmate. I feel like they're a wish come true for you. You've got this new cycle starting with them. They are soulmate and that this is, you're going to really nurture this. I mean, you could even get this person pregnant or vice, you know, they could be getting you pregnant, whatever. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, especially if you're past that part stage of your life. But I, I feel like this is, re this relationship's going to really grow and, and bloom into something pretty, pretty amazing here. Um, it just feels like love. Like I'm like, uh, trying to think of, you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic situation here, but I feel like, you know, whatever it is, whether it's love or like, it could be even a career situation here where you have to move on to something um, new or different, but you're kind of afraid of doing that or I don't know. I just feel like you're really confused or there's things you don't know. But whatever it is, like Scorpio, I think you're going to be successful. So let's just, let's just go with that for now. Let's get some more cards because this is a little confusing. It really does feel like love. Door to spirit. So your, your guides are trying to communicate with you. They're trying to give you the signs. They're saying, hey... Listen, we'll help you defend yourself. We'll help you guide you on the right path. We'll help you with this new cycle, with this soulmate. So pay attention. Pay attention. I feel like they're giving you signs. I think, or at, at the very least, they're, they're giving you very strong intuition at this time. So um, that's a good thing. Like, because maybe you might be a little confused. And so you're not listening or you're not seeing those signs. But open up to them right start seeing them because believe me they will appear um if you're open to them yeah here you go psychic awareness exactly they're saying yes keep talking about what you're saying um open yourself up tell i mean even tell the universe that you want signs right tell them that you are willing to take a sign right now to know which way to go like if i'm on the right path you know show me a four-leaf clover or you know if i've you know I'm, d I'm doing something right. If the answer is yes, then, you know, show me a pink rose, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can ask for whatever sign you want. And when you see that sign, it doesn't have to be an actual, like say, let's take a pink rose. It doesn't have to be an actual in-person flower, like, you know, a tangible, touchable flower. It doesn't have to be. It could be a pink rose on, that you see on the computer or you see on a card in the store like you walk by the card aisle and you know the card that stands out has a pink rose on the on it you know what I mean like it doesn't have to be literal right but ask for a sign be open to them because I really do feel like spirit is here trying to communicate with you but for some reason you got a blindfold on like you, you're keeping yourself in the dark about something and um I don't know what that is. So, I don't know why.
Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, trust the creative spark. It doesn't necessarily for me mean to write because I'm not a writer. I don't write. So when I get a creative card, it's it's something else. It means, you know, think of a creative solution or, you know, be creative in your flirting or something like that. It doesn't have to be a, you writing something down. It absolutely could be. Maybe, you know, you're old fashioned and maybe you write a love letter to your person. You know, maybe you put your feelings down on, on paper, pen and paper. Or maybe you just journal. Okay. Um, whatever that is, it's saying if you have this creative spark, if you have this nudge, go with it. Because it's going to help you in some way. Um, even if it's just calming your mind, it, it's going to help you somehow. So go with the creative spark. It could be important. It could lead to a, a, a different, a new situation or something. I don't know. The unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Again, you have that blindfold on. You're in the dark. You're a little bit confused. I don't know what this is about. What is it that you're not seeing? Or what is it that you don't want to see? That's the question. Meditate and contemplate. So yeah, they want you to think about things. They want you to, again, communicate with source, communicate with the divine. Be open to your angels and guides. If you can meditate, try to do so. Try to just sit, quiet your mind and see what comes in, right? Because when we quiet our mind, that's when spirit can talk to us. It's not easy, but you know, it's worth it. You have new love here. So, uh, like I said, I did feel like this was a love situation where you have a soulmate coming in and it's going to grow into something beautiful. It's a new cycle for you. But for first, a cycle has to end, right? So here's this tower. The tower is going to end the old cycle so that you can start new. So... um. You know, it could be a new lease on a love. It doesn't have to be exactly new love here. Um, like new, new. But it could be. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It's a new cycle. So it could be you're just, there's a new found love between the two of you or something like that. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay. Okay. So here I am telling you that if you procrastinate, you're going to create a tower movement, which I do believe is true, but it feels like you might be forcing this somehow, some way, or forcing your will on somebody, or you might be forcing um, people to um, take your side, or t you know what I mean? Like, give it time. Just relax, chill. Make the best decisions for you, but don't, you know, if others don't agree with those decisions, it's okay. Just give it some time. You know, eventually they'll see that you're happy because this does look like a wish come true for you. So eventually things will work out. Just give it some time. Okay. Let's get an Akashic Record advice card. I might have to read from the book on this one. We'll see. Uriel and the Spirit. Things so it looks like Archangel Uriel is definitely one of the angels that want to help you with this situation. <sighs> this card really wants you to um, again do do some deep deep thinking, deep diving here. They want you to it, they want you to look inside. They want you to meditate and contemplate and and discover. Um, maybe your deepest wants and desires and feelings and I don't know like they're just saying you might have to chip away at some old beliefs here so you can get to the truth but they're saying don't worry you've already made some considerable um, forward movement in this area 
And, you know, Archangel Uriel, like if you meditate, you can absolutely call in Archangel Uriel to help you. You know, just ask Archangel Uriel to help you with some self-understanding or some transformation or just some, just say Archangel Gabriel, I mean, Archangel Uriel, please give me some guidance. You know, you have to ask, we're, we're, especially where the Archangels are concerned. You really do have to ask. Um... If not, you know, I feel like Archangel Uriel will, will send somebody in the flesh to you, like either a teacher or a mentor or a new friend or something like that, that will help you with whatever they want you to see, with whatever they want you to uncover. Um, you're not seeing something. You're definitely not seeing something. And that's why they're telling you to meditate because they want you to, they want you to have all the answers. Right, and the answers are inside of you. So that's they're trying to get you to get to those answers for some reason. They want you to dig deep here. So don't diminish this this phase that you have to go through. This is this is important. It's important for you to do that. So again, take take some time, take 10, 15 minutes to meditate and kind of dig deep if you can. You'll be surprised. You just might get an answer. Or like if you don't get an answer immediately. An answer will show up for you in a different way. Sometimes sometimes it's hard to meditate and hear, you know, but they they do give you the answers eventually. All right, we got you some charms. So I feel like you're really coming back into balance. I feel like your chakras are going to align again. And I don't know, I feel like if you do the shadow work, the dig in deep here, um, it's really going to be beneficial for you. You do have a wish come true. They're just reiterating that with this nine, nine of cups. And your angels and guides are definitely here, loving on you, supporting you, and guiding you at this time. Right? They're giving you a gift. Whether you realize it or not, they're giving you a gift. Because, you know, whatever this transformation is, whatever this change is, it's happening for your highest good. So, um, you know, it might cause you to be a little independent more independent at this time like you might have to be go through like a single phase or something but um not necessarily but you know the flag always represents independence to me so anyway that's what i got scorpio i hoped it helped you give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel because that helps me and makes me very grateful and until next time love and light